like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. What's up YouTube? Pilot0083 here with a new video and tutorial and tip all at the same time really. We're going to be going over the barrow or borrow knob or the barometric pressure knob which is used to set your altimeter which then in place sets your altitude to the correct setting of what it should be the right height and this is extremely important because if you're in the clouds or in stormy weather you know, where you can't see if you are in certain air spaces above certain airports you need to be at the correct altitude to be safe so you don't hit the ground crash the plane hit another plane there's a lot of reasons why this needs to be correct and this is measured by a aneroid static port outside the aircraft but let's get to it so we will do three different types of ways that you can get your altimeter setting if you don't have it but uh, real quick so not this switch but the one below right here is our barometer knob or the barrow knob which sets our altimeter this CDI knob part that's on the front of it don't worry about that I'll talk about that in another video that doesn't relate to this but uh, that turns left and right and that's what sets these four blue numbers down here which is the pressure which uh, the pressure of where you are in the air which gives you the correct altitude so just like that you'll see it spins left and right and the numbers change so we always want to make sure that like I said earlier that this number is always at the correct setting so we will go to ATIS in frequency and ATIS stands for automatic terminal information service tells you weather temperature visibility it just goes on a loop but it will also tell you what your altimeter should be set at so you are at the correct altitude so there you have it there so we will go ahead and set our altimeter now to 29905 we are now at the correct altitude and that was ATIS. ATIS is only used at controlled airports. Let's move on to the next one. But uh, another way to find this out if you're at a small airport that doesn't use ATIS there's something called AWUS which is a automated weather loop reading which is for like a regional area you could use this so you'll see on here it says tune to AWA so it'll read you the same information weather, wind, temperature and I'll read you the altimeter again so 29 or 49 so we will go ahead and set that to 29 or 49 And once we do that, or while we, while we are doing that, you'll notice how the altitude starts changing. That's because it's correcting it to the correct altitude of how high we are from sea level. And then let me show you this third way real quick. Now, you might be in a situation, I don't have the situation at this airport, but there are some airports where you will have the, where you will have the situation. And the situation being where the airport does not have ATIS and then also you're too far away to get AWUS reading as well so there are some ways in real life to get this altimeter reading but since we're in a sim uh, an easy way to do it and I guess the way you could use it in real life is search for your airport which this is Jeremiah Denton and right here to the second where the arrow was you see where it says 0, 05 that is the altitude so that's five feet so I will go back here to my barrow knob and I will move my altimeter until my altitude and I do say altitude this time to your altitude says five feet in this plane here it does it by 
every 20 feet. So I'm going to go to what's closest to 5, which would be 0. So I'm going to go ahead and move it down to 0. And as you can see, anyway, I mean, I'm like, looks like a foot or two off from sea level. Because you can see the water right there. And this is the ocean. But uh, that's another way of doing it. But uh, very helpful video. Just want to share that with y'all. I hope this video helps y'all. If you have any questions or anything, just comment below. Hey, and I'll see you in my next video. Happy flying, guys. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe and like button. And as always, until next time, happy flying, guys. Pilot0083, signing off.